Flynn, 2010. This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. We turn now to former Archbishop of Cape Town and Nobel Prize laureate Desmond Tutu. While he attended today's memorial for Nelson Mandela, he did not speak. He led a lively tribute, though, Monday evening, to honor his close friend. After the fall of apartheid, Tutu headed the country's Truth and Reconciliation Commission. He's now 82 years old. The intimate gathering where Tutu spoke in Johannesburg was hosted by the Nelson Mandela Foundation. We haven't come yet. No, I've been one morning. You are saying God for goodness sake. You think you are not a bad God. I mean, you gave us, you gave us an incredible gift. An incredible. Who ever in their right mind imagined that we would see a kind of coverage every single day? Not, not you know, on, in South African newspapers. Overseas, you wouldn't, you wouldn't believe, you wouldn't believe it if somebody told you, oh, would you hey, just switch on now, BBC, switch on China, China, China. <laughs> Say, you know, India is observing five days, five days of mourning. It's, it's wonderful to be married, <laughs> but you know, when you when you are a public speaker and you have your wife in the audience. <laughs> you mustn't look at her. Newspaper. The front page. You can't believe it. The front page was a young, white, almost certainly African. <laughs> what is he doing? He has got his arms round a middle aged black woman. She is crying and he is he is consoling her. He is consoling her. This is this is what this is what Madiba has done. This is what Madiba has done. He didn't, he didn't 
just speak and say, do as I say, and not do as I do. You've been listening to and watching the former Archbishop of South Africa, Desmond Tutu. On this day uh, that the Nobel Peace Prize is given out in Oslo, he is a previous Nobel Peace I'm Amy Goodman. Thanks so much for watching this report from Democracy Now!, your daily independent global grassroots news hour. We don't accept advertising or corporate funding, but rather rely on donations from viewers like you. Please make your contribution by visiting democracynow.org today. We need your support today to keep bringing you this hard-hitting, in-depth reporting.